Okay, so somebody's saying Ben has been frustrating me. It has been doing next to nothing <laughs> for many months. Do I just count it as a loss and move on or stick with it? All right, Ban Protocol, uh, great question on this. Uh, Forrest, do you want to cover this? Uh, sure. Uh, so I'm, I'm just pulling up the, the price chart here. I'm, I'm on CoinGecko and um, it looks like it's in a bit of a correction, but uh, yeah, I mean, it, it peaked pretty hard uh, early, you know, August, September, 20, 2020 uh, in that, that initial wave. And I guess it, it feels like it's been doing nothing, but it's been in a nice uptrend. Uh, if we pull up some, some analysis, some uh, trend line on it, band USDT, but we can probably just draw a quick trend line here. Uh, and if anything, uh, it would appear that, you know, band is at a potentially good buying opportunity uh, as opposed to selling opportunity. Uh, now, now personally, I exit and enter and exit trades, um, you know, among other things, I like to use uh, the visual trends indicator as well, but I also like to draw these channels. And right now, when we're at the bottom of a channel, um, that's usually a buying opportunity, whereas selling at the top of the channel is a selling opportunity. So it is still in a very nice uptrend. Uh, it just got way over, way too overextended in, in early 2020 uh, and is, has, has since been cooling off. Uh, it looks like it is butting up against kind of its all-time high here, uh, some resistance, uh, but... I mean, for me, if I was ho holding band right now, uh, I'd be looking to to hold through and and maybe get out of it uh, once once it rechallenges the top of this this channel here, um, or taking a look at the visual trends indicator to to see where uh, band currently is. Uh, we can do that if uh, Ian doesn't have it pulled up yet. Actually, yeah, I do. Yeah, I can. You do. Up here. Yeah. So yeah. looking at the visual trends indicator, it is bearish. However, this hasn't really been doing too well with this coin, right? Because looking at this, um, the low frequency has a better ROI, actually, than the high frequency indicator, and actually better than than hard link. So let's go to that one. So band protocol, yeah, it's also been bearish on this. And looking at this, so pretty much in the last one year or so, it was bullish at 244 got out at about eight bucks then it basically went flat went sideways went bullish at 741 got out at about 1248 and it's basically been up and down uh, since then uh bill do you have any comments on on band protocol yes just briefly i i think you guys have covered the charts um i know i always say this but if you have a bad feeling about your end. In other words, if you're like, should I just give up? I wouldn't use the words give up, but I would completely reevaluate why you like this trade to begin with. For, I'm looking at it here on my screen. Band shot up from 12 to 24 in a matter of a month. Okay. And then it turned around and came right back down again. That means bears took control right? As soon as there was a rally. And when you see that in DeFi, sometimes that means there's a better trade elsewhere. And based on the way you ask the question, you may know that deep inside. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.